So, someone woke up crazy. Hello, crazy pants. Hello, crazy pants. What are you doing? You're gonna break a leg. No, it's not funny. Hey guys, so I thought I would do the unboxing of the Panda Crate by KiwiCo um, because the little monster is asleep and every time I try to open it, he tries to open it with me and that's okay. But I want to show you guys what's inside first and then show it to him. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> if you guys can see him, he's over there in the little corner. Over there. And he's sleeping. I woke up really early today and I think it's like 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. And he woke up at like at 7. So, that's why. But here it is. It's called the Panda Crate. And this is our first box of the Panda Crate. Well, of the of this crate in general, it's by Kiwico. If I haven't said that, I think I already said that. And pretty much, it caters to all ages, so you can um, go ahead and put in like a, a child's age. And it does go ahead and it does go ahead and um, pick a crate for you. So after it picks a crate for you, it um automatically like tells you like oh this is like what is the best crate for your child and so on and so on and I think that's really cool. So that's this. And let's see, let's get into this box. Oh, I think I opened it wrong. Okay. Ooh. So it does start off with the uh, Wonder by Panda, which is comes with a little pamphlet. And then it comes with emotion spinners, feel me. So this is called the feel me box because it talks all about feelings and how to express to your child their feelings and how to uh, make sure to uh, show them what feelings are and how to help them express that because they're small and they don't know they don't know how to do that yet. So um, that's really cool because I've been having a hard time. Like, you know, like, are you sad? Are you mad? So it's kind of like it caters to me. Like, I was like, oh, wow, like, this is exactly what I need. Because I've been having a hard time talking to him about emotions and, like, sadness and happiness. And, like, I find myself getting frustrated because I don't understand what he wants. And he gets frustrated because he can't express what he feels. And because he throws tantrums because he doesn't know what's going on. So the emotional spinner. The emotion spinner, not emotional the huggable bear, oh, so easy to flap, three different emotions, oh, that's so cute, and then the emotion stacker, so size for little hands, so it says explore feelings, problem solving with emotion tokens, animated emotion slider, oh, that's so cute, and then emotion placemat, oh, that is adorable. So that's that, and then it does come with like further instructions on this product. I can put pictures if you guys want me to. I mean, I don't have to. I mean, in the issue, little kids' big emotions grow. See how your baby's emotional skills are developed developing for terrible tantrums learn inside the brain of easy toddlers six emotions in motion play fostering self-regulation skills through play eight ask a doctor and parents will kit connect tips and tricks for emotion like tackling emotions goodness i can't talk and then over here it does say exploring your little ones Explore emotions with your little one. Your child is starting to learn self-control and self-regulation. There will be many bumps, bruises, and tears along the way, but by modeling healthy emotional response, teaching them to use emotion words and distracting them when all else fails, you can also you can set your child on the path to future emotional success. <clears throat> So I won't be reading all of this because this is a bit too long. So I'll just take a picture and upload it for a few seconds. And then if you guys want to read it, you guys can. You guys can pause the video and then um, go ahead and read it.
Oh, well, I just talked to myself for like five minutes. Well, that was great. Well, anyway, I was showing you guys this pamphlet and then I was showing you guys all these stuff and then I was telling you guys how you pretty much just have to like take a t your time to read all this and it's very nice. I can upload some pictures if you guys want towards the end of the video if you guys want to read them um, and see what it's about. I mean, this box does cater for only, I believe, what is he? He's like a, a year year in like three months so it caters for children in his age group so he's a year three months and a half so he's about to be a year and four months but yeah it does cater just to his age so each box is completely different I mean I believe you can I think buy different boxes but I'm not sure I mean I haven't tried it yet I just kind of picked out the box that they designed for me so that was really nice. Oh, this is so cute, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, anyway, I'm going to show it to you guys. So here, it does say everything that's inside. So it's A, which is the little, this one right here. So it does have different expressions. So it has like a, a happy face, a sad face, and a wow face. So he does this a lot. Wow. So he's always not sad, but he does a lot of sad faces and a happy faces. So this will be good. Like, how do you feel? Do you feel excited? Do you feel sad? Or do you feel happy? And then this will be good for me because it's I've had, like I said, a hard time expressing myself with him and him expressing with me. And then this, look at this. This is a food mat, like where they can eat and like you can give them like fruits and vegetables and then they can put like a little sad face on how they're feeling, or a little happy face. This is so cute and the quality of this is amazing, like the plastic, it's great. And then this, this is really cute. Oh, look, oh, it doesn't even come apart. Look, you can just kind of like a Rubik's Cube, you just flip it and then you can see like you can do the like the sad face the happy face the wow face these are so cute they have a two oh the, this is the wow face my bad wow face happy face sad face happy face yeah i was right what the heck am i talking about that's really neat and then it's color coded so red for happy blue for wow teal for for a smile i'm assuming i mean this is happy and it's extra happy and then orange for sad oh and then this one i thought it was so cool look, look, look. Ooh. <laughs> he's dancing <laughs> having more fun than he is with this <laughs> this is so cute oh my god and then they also have this one so like this one is like a i am not sure how this one works but i think it's like it's just a happy face going back and forth if you guys can see it it's just ooh. anyway and then the feelings book. I thought this was really neat. I'll be probably reading to him this to him. I haven't read to him in a little while, which I probably should, so it would, you know, promote his language skills. While reading, try this. Remember when it says, if you guys can see it, try these suggestions to help your little one talk about different emotions. Remember when pause after an emotion in your story and ask your child when they felt similar. Use the book as a tool because children have a hard time saying what they feel. Have your child point to a picture in the book to show an emotion. Reading faces. People faces can show how they feel. Encourage your child to show you their happy face, scared, and surprised face. Oh, that's cute. So the relaxed panda, the bored panda. Oh, poor panda's curious panda the excited panda the happy panda the tired panda and the worried panda and the scared panda oh yeah he definitely looks startled Let's see oh, if I could flip the page and then the surprised panda and then the relieved panda over there and then the joyful panda and the loved panda Oh, that is so cute. And then this one. I was actually looking really forward to this one because he, um, he's been playing with, um, Connect Four a lot with my siblings. So I thought this was so cute. He can actually have his own little one that he can actually put the pieces in it, which is kind of nice. Is there anything else? Oh, I think that's it. I believe that is it.
Oh, and then they have these. So I'll show you these. So it's pretty much like a connect for. Like each one has their own meaning on them. And then you have like the joy, the let's see, the happy one. Oh, and then the baby is happy. So then you can go ahead and, you know, put that in there. And then this one, he's frustrated. So the baby's frustrated. Drop that in there. So that's really neat. I think that's really cool. And then let's see. I thought it came with some other stuff but I guess not I think that was must have been a different box so teach your child so it talks all about emotions so it just te telling you what to do tips on parenting um, use a mirror to show your son your son or daughter their emotions um, you can do make silly faces to learn about empathy oh so you can buy oh this is actually really cool I could go buy like those leftover Easter eggs at the store and draw happier sad faces and we can put those together Learn faces and shapes. Oh, yeah. Cut out little different shapes for different emotions. That's really nice. And then Play-Doh faces. Draw simple faces on a sheet of paper. Slide it into a zip bag and seal. Help your child roll, roll tear, and shape the Play-Doh to match the facial expressions. Oh, that is so cute. This is, all stuff is really good, actually. It's really nice. I love this though this is my one of my favorite ones that one and i think this one. i think i'm more excited about those two i mean I, i'm sure he'll have a blast with all of them regardless but that those are my two favorites and this is would be my favorite too but this one i would consider last <laughs> and these ones too because i feel like these ones would be more helpful to me because he likes this so i could talk to him about emotions and then this playmat is just adorable. I'll probably go put it on his little chair so he can eat later. Actually, in a little bit. He'll probably eat in about, I don't know, five-ish minutes. I have to wake him up first for baby. But yeah, this is it for the box. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I mean, I would have liked to show you guys him unboxing it to see his throw that away. I don't really care for those cutesy cards. But yeah, let me see if he wakes up. My dear. Look at the box. Come on. Oh, look at the toys. Wow. Look what's inside. Look. What is it? Whoa. It's for eating. Look. It's for eating. What is this? Whoa. Look at that. What is that? Look. 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 Whoa. It moves. Wow. What is it? It moves. Yeah. Look. It moves. Push it in. Push it in. Yeah. Push it in. No. Push it inside. Push it inside. Push it like this. Choop. Yeah. It goes inside like that. Push it in. Push it in. Like this. Boom. You did such a good job, Bubba. Look. Look at this one. Look. It's happy. Oh, it's sad. Yeah. It's so sad. God. Whoa, it has a wow face. How about your wow face? <gasps> yeah. Look, you like this one? Look, this one is cool. Look, you like to do this one. Look, look. Put them in here. Like this. You like to do that. Yeah, good job, Bubba's. You got it, you got it, oh! Up here, mira. Aquí arriba, aquí. On top. Yeah, like that. Good job, Bubba's. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed Mateo playing for about eight 
ish minutes probably fast forward this but um, i hope you guys have a great day and hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys um do look into this crate and um see what it's about because it's really cool um they have everything from all ages i believe from newborn all the way to like 14 years old wow. they have activities for it's activities for up to two months so that's a lot and i will put the website down below um if you guys want to go ahead and look at that and then i'll try to add some pictures of the pamphlets that i got that way you guys know what i'm looking at okay so i goes i hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the rest of your day and happy quarantine to all of us who are quarantined and um just be safe out there guys